World War Z. I watched that. That was pretty good. Yeah, Did you like pretty, that? Yeah, but that's Brad Pitt, though. Well, I don't care who it is. It was a good movie. The acting was pretty good. Achilles? The only thing is, do you remember that part where Brad Pitt gets the crap in his mouth and he hangs like off the side of the building. He's like counting in his head or whatever, 10 seconds or whatever. And then right. he's like, because okay, if he I'm started fine to turn, now. He was going to jump. But here's the thing. How the hell does he know that that one part that he saw where somebody switched over in 10 seconds, that's the norm. And now right, all right, of a right. sudden he knows that it takes 10 seconds. Please, Brad Pitt. It's Brad Pitt, dude. <laughs> if Brad says it takes 10 yeah. seconds, it takes 10 seconds. <laughs> Hey, everybody, this is Carlos and Sandy Lee, and you're listening to the Off Your Flosser podcast. We're here to rock your world. Thanks for listening, everybody. (laughs) (laughs) And go floss yourselves. Thanks, everybody. Now go floss yourself. (laughs) Hey, Carlos. What's up, Sandy? (laughs) It's episode 21. This match. (laughs) All right. Awesome, twenty one. Bring, yeah, no. bring back the uh, old times. Yeah, we <laughs> we had something that was similar in style that we used to start off like that. Yeah. What's up, man? How you feeling? Oh, yeah. Doing all right? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. It was a good day. It was yeah. busy day you? for for me. Good. Yeah, I had a yeah. lot of nice a lot of nice people, but it was had some scaling in there, so that was that was interesting. Oh, I hadn't done that. You in a still while. do that? <laughs> I know, right? And um, <laughs> no, no, it was it was it was a good day. It was nice, even steady day but it just it just ran people a little bit long up. at the end yeah people showed yeah. up for their cleanings you know wow that's weird. regular <laughs> regular day i know i know right yeah. i act the things i act like like it bothers me but i really i i love the interaction with people that's that's the best oh, part yeah. the yeah. work itself is kind of tedious you know but i i like the interaction with people that's that's yeah that's my thing that's what keeps me going I feel like when you look at the schedule in the morning, you're like, oh, gosh. And then you get into it and you're like, oh, OK, yeah, this is cool. We'll uh, carry and it's on conversations. Lunchtime. And yeah, and then it's lunchtime and you're like, man, I yeah. wish my patient would, wouldn't show up. And then they get there and you're like, oh, OK, let's just, you know, and then it's fine. You know, it's like yeah, the, it's totally the dread. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, no, she needs an FMX, you know, you're like, wow. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> It's such yeah, a childish but, um, outlook, but but I think, <laughs> but sometimes I, I gotta go. Listen, yeah, you know, I gotta talk to myself. I'm like, listen, bro. Yeah, brosif. It's just an FMX. <laughs> Knock it out. It'll take you five minutes. I'm like, but boom, but nothing. You do it and you shut up. And I'm like, all right, yeah. Because my motivated now, so, self is is ridiculous. He's like a boot camp guy, right? But my lazy self is like super lazy. Like he wears he like wears a little shit. <laughs> he wears Crocs. You know what I mean? And sweatpants. <laughs> with socks or no sw- no socks? <laughs> uh, no, with socks because he's super comfortable. It, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that's my inner I lazy have, guy. I have those little pep talks on Sunday night where I actually did this past Sunday. I was getting the Sunday night blues, you know. And I don't know. I've been going through this thing. So I had the Sunday night blues and I was sitting there. Mm-hmm. So I got my calendar out and I'm like, well, what am I – my week isn't even that bad. Like, so I go through my days and I was like, Oh, I got a meeting here and a meeting here. That's not too bad. And then I was fine. Like you just have to knock yourself out of it, you know, and, and and be like, okay, be an adult, be an adult and just go to work. (laughs) It's, it's pretty simple really when you think about it, but you know, yeah, it's very simple. Like you, like the sign on the wall, you know how we, we talked about those signs that should say, you know, I mean, shut up until I had my coffee or, you know, whatever. Uh, it, it should say right. just shut up, shut up and do Monday. Like once you get through Monday, you're kind of okay. Like you get right. going and you're like, and then it's Tuesday yeah. and you're like, well, Tuesday still kind of sucks, but then it's Wednesday and you're like, hump day. And then throw you back know, Thursday and then Friday. Monday is like like a like a fight, like a fist fight, you know? And then you got punched in the side of the head. And you're like, yeah. that wasn't that bad. I mean, it might have a lump tomorrow. Right. <laughs> yeah. But I really thought it was going to hurt way like, worse. Like, I'll still you know feel I mean? it. 
Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm it, it still here, bad. but did you die? <laughs> <laughs> so, I did nothing yesterday. I came home and went to bed. Then I'd oh, wake yeah. up, watch YouTube for a little bit, watch my son play oh, video really? games, and then doze yeah. back off. And I finally go to bed bed. So, like, I took a nap before I went to bed. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> is that crazy? I mean, is it if it's that late, is it really called a nap? Or is it, like, pre-sleep, you know? I don't know. It was like practicing for, for sleep. I got it down pat. <laughs> <laughs> I ran a marathon in eight hours. What's up now? My sleep you know, marathon. Yeah. You know? Dude, I went to work last night on those mm. pillows. Right. <laughs> they didn't but, stand uh, a chance. No, no. <laughs> What's your perfect temperature for sleeping? Cold. Oh, you like it cold? So uh, not like uh, I see your breath cold, right? But yeah. But like I, I need a a fuzzy you need blanket. A blanket, even in summer. Yeah. So normally we'll keep the temperature about seventy four. Oh my god! I think it's yeah. So I what think are you it's from perfect. like but Miami or something. <laughs> I don't know. But so like in the middle of the night, though, I'll get night sweats. I get night sweats from like the, the medication and stuff that I take. And, and because it's 74. No, I go to bed and I'm very comfortable. <laughs> and then comfortable I get all sweaty and then cool? I like it's like perfect. And then in the middle of the night, like I'll get a, a night or sweat or whatever. You get a, you get what a, they call a hot flash. OK. Yeah. An active and then dream that ruins or something. It. No, it's not even dreaming. It's just I get I get hot. I have them during the daytime daytime too sometimes. Oh wow! But anyway, yeah. So I have to throw off all the covers. <laughs> if I'm wearing pants, those are coming off because I'm like I'm burning up. You just gotta cool off. So you're right. just like doing whatever you gotta do. Um, but here lately, John kind of snuck his little ass over to the thermostat, and he's been putting it down to seventy. So I'm sitting there watching TV, getting to ready go, to go to John. bed, and I'm like. Man, it's a little nippy in here. Like, what's going on? And then we go to bed, and I'm like, uh, my my blanket is not covered. Like, it's not doing its job. So I bumped it up a couple degrees. He cuts wood to provide heat, so you know, two more logs won't hurt him. <laughs> He'll be all right. Two up, yeah. two extra wax from a from an eight right. pound axe. No it, it's good exercise. Yeah, he cuts his he cuts his own wood, and you know, all he chops down trees and all that crap. Um, yeah. he's a lumberjack, <laughs> lumber that's, John. <laughs> that's, that's a manly man he got there. I know. Right. <laughs> I just got a whole new respect for him. Oh yeah. He, you is know, I wouldn't disrespect him anyway, man, but I'm just saying if he's chopping trees down and putting in work, yeah. I'm glad I'm in Atlanta. That's all I'm going to say. He's hardcore yeah. and he like tills up the garden <laughs> in the summer and that's, that's a hefty job too. Oh yeah. Like, I, if you I, have hard ground. I did something called dethatch last year with a rake, mm. and he got these little tiny, like little oh. blades, and all the dead yeah. grass and stuff that's in between the blades of grass, all the dead stuff on the bottom oh, that's touching yeah. the ground, right? Right. Doesn't let the nutrients yeah. soak into the soil. Ah, so you got to you got to dethatch, de- dethatch like every four years or so, nice. right? And I did this wow. one area that was about I don't know, maybe thirty by forty, and I was yeah. like, I don't care how much thatch there is in the front of the house. So I'm not touching it. It was ridiculous. I'm not deeing anything. <laughs> no. I'm like, there could be thatch up the wazoo, and I'm not messing with it. I, I mean, it was it was work, dude, you know? And uh, Oh, yeah. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought that rake. I, when I can just rent the machine. <laughs> you know, the, the, the rake was like 22 yeah. bucks, right? If I rent a machine for 50 yeah. I could just do the whole yard and just walk behind it. I mean, because you, you got to, like, yank all the stuff out of the, you know, from underneath yeah. and it's just Ugh. it's just it's just work we don't dethatch anything here we just don't no he just takes <laughs> an axe to it and he just cuts a whole new clearing oh hey we need to end this battleship like i need to just hurry up and win and be done with it you know yeah, what I'm, I'm, saying? I'm almost about ready to, to <laughs> cheat and, and give you the code so we can <laughs> so we can end it let's uh, just say you me... won dude because because you... well, i can't do that what do you what do you got left a three piece four okay yeah I... you have four i got two left let's just say you won well, or do you want to finish it? Finish I mean, it. I mean, I I think if you start a game, you got to finish it. That's me. All right. I'm not a quitter. I'm gonna call out a few na- a few of them, and you okay. just tell me what's I'm up. I'm gonna I'm gonna write them down then. I'll do D seven. Okay. E six. Okay. And A one. Thanks, Austin. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Miss Miss Miss. Son of a bitch. What did I say? A one. Yes. Thanks, Austin. So let me just Shit. do it. Your turn. All right. You ready? 
Yeah. I'm going to go C8, G4, and J8. Miss, miss, miss. Um, uh, Let's go H1, G3, and D10. Okay. <laughs> what? Why All are right. you laughing at me? Nothing. It's just, it's miss, miss, miss. Are you freaking kidding me? No, man. All right. Hey, you remember how I said that I was going through something and my counselor... Oh, no, I didn't talk about that, did I? No. So one day she's, you know, we're sitting there talking and she was like, well, so what do you do for yourself? Right. And I was like, I I, don't, I sit and watch TV. I'm play like, Battleship? She was like, <laughs> right. <laughs> No, I didn't play Battleship at that point. And then I uh, and she goes, "Well, but okay, but yeah, but but what do you do for yourself?" And I was like, "Like what do you do for a hobby? What do you do for fun?" And I was like, "I sit and watch TV." Like <laughs> So I was thinking, "Okay, obviously sitting and watching TV is not an acceptable answer." So <laughs> So I was like, right. "Okay, fine. I I like to read. I'll join a book club." So I joined a book club. Okay. And our book right now is The Girl with All the Gifts. And it's about a zombie apocalypse. I'm yeah. all about zombie apocalypse, dude. Oh, yeah? You know? yeah. yeah? With all the Are gifts. Are you ready? Now, is it like, how old is, is this girl in the book? She is 10, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah she, she's going to get so eaten. It's, so she is it's a, a zombie. She's a zombie. Here's my philosophy about reading books or, or okay. watching movies that are based based on books. You okay. always have to watch the movie first. Otherwise, you're screwed because the book is always better. Same yeah. thing in this sense. Yeah, you're right. So basically, it's a post-apocalyptic. We're on a military little base. They're trying <laughs> to find a cure. Okay. So the soldiers went out and caught all these. They call them hungries. Because they eat people. Well, they find out that these certain Low children... Low-hanging fruit. They're, they're not even trying to name them right. <laughs> Why didn't they call them devourers or something? <laughs> anyway, so they find out that these kids act different than the adults. So they want to study them. And they put them in a classroom. They have teachers come in. And they teach them things to see if they can learn. And like get what kind of feedback they can from these kids. That And that's about where I am now. Okay. In this book. Do, do, do you like it? Do you like the book? Oh, it's good. It's good. It's it's pretty good. Like, I don't really have a favorite genre or anything like that. So, okay. I mean, yeah. And it's it's written well. I, I'm enjoying it. Yeah. It's one of those that you don't want to put down. You know, that kind of thing. This is weird because I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much stocked up and ready for a zombie apocalypse. I live in Atlanta. And Are you? the CDC yeah. is just down the street. This is going to sound weird. But we work with sharp <laughs> instruments all the time technically yeah knives right sure they go cutting edges cutting edges that are honed that are the yes. angles which have to be just right and right heat treated and you gotta you know high quality steel and that kind of thing right yes um since rambo one came out uh yes. in the 80s i've been a huge the fan knife and the of, sewing kit i've told you the story yes. before right yeah, yeah, and, you uh, love Rambo's Rambo's knife, yes. And that, that started a <laughs> lifelong obsession with with collecting, you know, camping, hunting knives, that kind of thing. And I camp very little, and I don't hunt, so I don't know what that says about me. Okay, it and just means was, you're ready. Yeah, and then I, I got I, pro <laughs> I probably have more knives than I'm ever gonna need. Maybe depends. And I bought <laughs> there's a company called RMJ, and they make these these uh, one piece all metal tomahawks okay the marines use them to punch open you know break locks and just it's like a tool yeah you know what i'm saying yeah yeah and i want one but they're like multi-purpose they're like 400 bucks and i can't oh. justify spending 400 bucks on a tool on that a i'm tomahawk. never going to use yeah on an all steel tomahawk yeah. so unless that, unless unless there's a zombie apocalypse well, then, like, what's four hundred bucks? Then, just at that point, it's every man for themselves. You just go steal one if you can find them. Oh, man! Yes, you, you are ready. Saying? Jeez, but yeah, that guy designed one for this other company, and I have it upstairs. Right. So the other day, oh. I, I have 
the the tomahawk in one hand and I have this knife in the other hand. And there's a famous scene <laughs> in the movie The Patriot with Mel Gibson where he has to oh, go yeah. hand to hand with a tomahawk and, and yes. a big Bowie knife, right? I think I, I remember that, wife, yeah. I go, dude, I cannot wait for the zombie apocalypse. She goes, you're crazy. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, I am going to go all out. She goes, you might oh, get yeah. four of them and then you're going to need to take a nap and get a sandwich. And I'm like, well, you're probably <laughs> right. You know, <laughs> and I'm like, what am I thinking about? You know, it sounds horrifying. And fighting, by then it would be a... a horde of undead people. That's going to be a nightmare. Right? I don't want to do that. But oh, if somebody else, if John wants to take a whack at it with, with the with the all steel tomahawk, he's more than welcome. You know what I mean? Nice, nice. He might like that. He he's he's got his guns, but I don't even know where where this where this is going. But I mean, but yeah, yeah I don't know, zombies. man. I I worry about not, maybe not so much zombies, but you know, it's the CDC, man. You don't know what they're working on in there. That's right. You, know? you get one rabid monkey out, and you're you know all hell. That's is it. It's loose. over. You know they have stuff in there that they can't stop. You know they got you oh, know I'm they're sure. testing Ebola in there and the hantaviruses yeah, they're, and they're trying to figure out how to stop fever. them. So they they don't know how to stop them. They're trying to figure it out. So of course, yeah, they're in there swarming around. Hopefully they all got the, them all on the lockdown. methicillin <laughs> resistant staff bugs. You know they got all kinds of yep. stuff in there that if it ever got out, yep. it's going to be Atlanta's going first. <laughs> you know. And uh, this might put me on some watch list, but Uh-oh. yeah. So hopefully they got all that stuff buried underground and, and safe and secure. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Like CDC, get I, your shit together. Make sure you're. Because I'm going to be pretty upset. On your on your game. If zombies start breaking out, you know, in Atlanta. Right. That, that Although would kind of ruin your day. They filmed The Walking Dead here. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you watch that? Uh, so I did. I watched like the first, I don't know, five seasons or whatever, and then I kind of got out well, of it. Like I, they got to the jail, and then after that, I'm, I'm lost. I saw like three episodes, and I'm like, I okay, zombies. Okay, more zombies. I I can't I can't deal with it. And I know that's probably sacrilegious to say here in Atlanta, but <laughs> I don't really care for the the whole genre. My brother loves it. There's lots and lots of zombie stuff out. Yeah, lots, it's, lots. It, it's almost too much. Yeah. Well. <laughs> You know? As long as it's good, I World War Z. I watched that. That was pretty good. Yeah, Did you like pretty, that? Yeah, but that's Brad Pitt, though. Well, I don't care who it is. It was a good movie. The acting was pretty good. Achilles. The only thing is, do you remember that part where Brad Pitt gets the crap in his mouth and he hangs like off the side of the building? He's like counting in his head or whatever, ten seconds or whatever, and right. then he's like, because "Okay, if he I'm started fine to turn, now." Turn. He was going to jump. Right. Well, he's going to fall. But here's the thing. How the hell does he know that that one part that he saw where somebody switched over in 10 seconds, that's the norm? Like, it shows this one scene where he's, like, stopping and watching somebody get bit, and then it takes 10 seconds to turn. Right, and now right, all right, of a sudden right. he knows that it takes 10 seconds? Please, Brad Pitt. It's Brad Pitt, dude. <laughs> if Brad says it takes 10 yeah. seconds, it takes 10 seconds. Yeah, I mean he's probably right, but you know, whatever. That, that was a pretty. <laughs> and good then we chop that. Yeah. And those guys and ran. Chopped that girl's arm off. Dude, that was pretty good. Yeah, he almost died yeah. ninety-two times in that movie. And a half, yeah. Yeah, like when they land on that on that field and they're running around with uh, with, on bikes. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah, that was gonna end horribly. I could have told you that right off the get-go. So he cut that girl's arm off to save her from the thing. Like, come on, you're smart. Heck yeah. And didn't he carterize it with a knife or something? I forget. I, I'd have to watch it again. I don't know, but he but took anyway. her hand clean off, dude. Oh, yeah. One with swipe. a knife. Machete. And that's kind of the one I have <laughs> upstairs, you know? Yeah. So you just oh, take that to a zombie's Yeah, this head, just took a really good. dark turn. No, <laughs> you know. zombies. You know how hard a skull is? Uh, I don't, I but mean, it's got to be pretty damn hard. Mine's probably harder than the average, just saying. <laughs> you know, I got hit in the head with a brick as a kid. <laughs> and um, Is that what happened to you? You know, I bled a little bit. Oh my gosh. But um it didn't it didn't break the uh the bone. Thank God. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It Ugh, must have hit flat it must have hit flat and not catch a corner. Right. It hurt like hell. Oh my gosh. I remember that. Yeah. Who did that? Oh, uh, my brother. <laughs> oh, oh god. 
he threw it up and I, I didn't know it was coming and it just and caught you're like, me. Just, oh, what was that? You know, <laughs> you know, oh, it's raining oh bricks. God. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, the know. sky is falling. Yeah. I, I don't know why. I mean, we were little kids, but still a brick is a brick, man. You know what I mean? Right. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, I was listening yeah. to uh, one of my favorite comedians this morning. And his name is Theo Vaughn. And they were asking him these questions. And I wrote some of them. Yeah. And they're they're really ridiculous. And I just want to see what you thought oh. on some of these. Oh, so you're asking right, you ready? me questions to answer? And I'd like to right. to see. Right. I want to throw it out there for anybody who's listening. If they want to call the hotline at 256-743-5677 and just leave a message and just, and just give me your answer. Or text or yeah. email at... Off your flosser. Off your flosser at gmail.com or the Facebook messenger. Okay. Right. That'll work too. Yeah. Yeah. This way, if you want to, you can find us. All right. So you ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, Let's do it. If you could, would you want to know how you're going to die or when you're going to die? <laughs> oh, I would definitely do when. When I when really? I, that way, that way I can mash in all the stuff I need to mash in before I go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, cuz really you know, like how you die, what what's the big deal? Like when? I feel like it's the kicker, you know. All right, what if they go, "Okay, how? You're going to get kicked in the chest by a kangaroo." So I would never go to Australia or a zoo. Right. So now you're like, "Hey, let's go to um <laughs> Bob's backyard party." But like, he doesn't own a kangaroo, does he? But like, dude, what's with you and kangaroos? It's, it's you know, I don't know, it's a thing. It's and just you go a and thing. you have fun, yeah. Right, and you can act and crazy. And then a kangaroo if... like comes into the backyard, and then you freak out. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Would I want to know when? I don't know. Maybe when, because then that way you can yeah. just live like a lunatic till then. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, you and then that, or you know, you make sure you get all your bucket list done. Or yeah, yeah. You're like, you no matter what I do, I'm gonna live. I'm gonna like cocaine and I'm hookers it up or something. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, within reason. Yeah. You know? Right. Yeah. I like get a that, wing, get a yeah. wingsuit, and drink a bunch of Red Bull and jump out of an airplane. Right, because you know that's not it. <laughs> that's but that's not dangerous what if, at all. What if you make your choice and then they're super vague? Okay, so how you're gonna die? You're gonna have a fall. Well, shoot, you could fall out of bed, or you could fall out of an airplane, or if they go when no, no, no. I mean, within. They give you specifics? I think, I think, yeah, it'd be way more detail. Like, yeah, you fall off a horse right. and you snap your neck. You just don't know when. <laughs> you know? So I never get you on a horse. You just don't get on a horse. Yeah. <laughs> right. But can you uh, stop it? You can't really stop it. No, it's It'd probably coming. be a zombie. It'd be a zombie apocalypse, and the only way to get away is a horse, and you're like, you well, know, It'll shit. be like this. Yeah, yeah it'll... <laughs> It'll be a zombie apocalypse, right? And cars will yep. be gone because nobody has gas yep. anymore. And, then and now you cut a right fall, freaking horse. And let's say you bump your head, right? And yeah. And John throws you on the back of a horse to take you to the doctor, and you slide off the back of the thing, <laughs> and he steps <laughs> on you. You know? <laughs> oh, that sounds great. <laughs> you know? And he was just trying to get yeah. you to the doctor for that bump, and then it, boom. You're like, I didn't want to go on a horse. And then I... Like, John, what's wrong with you? I think I would tell John, never on a horse. Even if I'm unconscious, never on a horse. <laughs> All right, so when? That's a, that's a consensus. Yes. All right, if you had to pick one person <laughs> to be the ambassador of the human race to a visiting alien, <laughs> who would it be? Gosh, it'd be me. You'd want to meet him? <laughs> I'm the only one I trust. <laughs> That would be kind of badass, though. Here's the thing: if I sent John, All right. he wouldn't even talk to him. And then but I mean, you can pick anybody. Up. You you can pick, you know, uh, you know, Mike Tyson or um, Kim Kardashian or <laughs> definitely not <laughs> or you know Donald Trump. Whatever you can pick somebody, anybody in the world to go. Who would you pick? Would you still go yourself? I, well, I would want to, you know, and I would hope <laughs> that you know I'm smart enough and nice enough and all that to do the right things but like okay let's pretend if it couldn't be me uh let me think it would have to be somebody like um 
I don't know, like Mother Teresa or something. Yeah, somebody super you nice, know? right? Right. S- somebody yeah. helping. Cause like, don't go over there and start shit. Like, don't you know, send a military to be guy nice. to try to be tough. Or right. you know, or an overthinker or an underthinker, like. Or somebody's <laughs> gonna be a pushover. Somebody's be like, right. hey. Put the ray guns down. Let's talk this yeah. out. It's cool. Let- it's cool. <laughs> you know. All right. Who what about Superman? Get? Oh, but he's a he's an alien. He's an alien himself, right? Cute. Yeah. So he'd have something in common. <laughs> Who would I send? I'd probably send um. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably send my dad. Oh you know? yeah. Yeah. Because he would confuse them, and they'd be like, "Let's get the hell oh. out of here." You know what I mean? <laughs> There's no intelligent life down there. Let's no, go, guys. No, Pack it up. My dad is one of those type of dudes that can talk to anybody. Like, you know, yeah. you know what I mean? Oh, and yeah. that's kind of where yeah. I, maybe that's where I get it from. I don't know. But you put him anywhere and he'll he'll get into a deep discussion with it about military stuff, war, st- airplanes, tanks, uh, yeah. cars, fishing, oh. wh- whatever. He'll find something in common and yeah. start and start blabbing it up. So. Th- <laughs> So they might be like, "Wow, they're, they're real chatty down here. Let's let's get away but, from yeah, these, like, we from don't, these chatty we don't creatures. To, yeah, we don't have time to talk. Let's go. <laughs> All right. And well, then they they don't want to be rude, so they sit there and like let him finish his story. Okay, and yeah. they're like, "Okay, see you later." He goes and he starts another story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's and how that happens. And oh they're telepathically God. going, "Hey, dude, let's get the hell out of here. Next break, you know." Right. Yes. <laughs> All right. Now this is a, a what if? Would you rather? <laughs> Would you rather go to jail for one year <laughs> or go in with a Rubik's Cube and they let you out as soon as you figure it out? Oh, shit. <laughs> well, in, in in actuality, I would probably figure it out before a year is up. So you go in with the Rubik's Cube? I guess so. Because you can pull the stickers off and put them on the... <laughs> right no, no, side. they got you. I mean, you can't you can't cheat. Damn it! No, you can't cheat. <laughs> or, you know, I, you can even take them apart. But I'm just saying, you got to solve it. Yeah, I mean, Will Smith in the back of a taxi did it, so I figure I could do it in less than a year. A year's worth of practice. You got to get it. Uh, you know, you, I would think so. You got 20 hours a day where you can hammer on this thing. You should right. be able to get it done in like a month or two. I would imagine. Right? Yeah. yeah. So that's what I would do. Yeah. And you take, <laughs> but if, but if you don't get it, you're stuck there. Oh, you mean, okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, but I would still, I feel like I would get it sooner or later. Because mm. all my focus would be on that, so I can get out of there. Right. So So if that's three days, and I know it's the three trick. days. I know the trick. What trick? The center of the sides is the color it's supposed to be. So that's like, so if there's a red square in the center of the Rubik's Cube on this side, then that's the red side. You have to get all the red on that one side. Okay. And if it's, if they turn it and then the middle one's blue, you have to get all the blue on that blue one. I, I think I could figure it out in under a year, too. Um, yeah. How soon under a year? I don't know. Maybe 11 months. Shit. But. Does this mean we need to get Rubik's Cubes now? You know. I think. I think we need to get Rubik's Cubes, dude. <laughs> Did you th- watch the YouTube videos of these guys doing Rubik's Cubes? It like, pisses me off when I see people Three just... seconds later, like, bzz, 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 and now, then it, it's done. Did they unravel it in a way where they, they, they know how it goes? I, I don't know. I wonder. But the easy way, the easy way to figure that up is for you to screw it all up and then be like, here, dude. Right. Because mm-hmm. I had... Three seconds? I, oh. I had Rubik's Cubes in the 80s, and the yeah. only time all six sides matched... Was when I when I took it out of the package. When you bought it, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I and I always you. got frustrated and I had a keychain and it would just piss me <laughs> off. And maybe because I didn't, you know, my life wasn't, I wasn't in jail. Yeah. You weren't focused. So yeah. I think if I sat down <laughs> and took it serious. Yeah. I Rubik's it up. You know what I mean? Right. All your focus was <laughs> on right. that. Heck All right. So yeah. do you, do you want to do that? And, and, and yeah, we're not going to do it a, on the air. I'll get a we'll Rubik's cube. Mix them up. And I'll. I'll figure out how long it takes me. And whoever figures it out first w- wins. And I don't know what we win. I'll buy you a cup of coffee or whatever. But Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> but that'll be, but we're not going to bore. We'll have to give our progress that. every week or something. Cause I know I probably won't get it within a week. <laughs> All right. Here's one. Um, which fictional character. <laughs> this is so <laughs> stupid. If you could, 
<laughs> which <laughs> which fictional character would you beat the shit out of? Oh, it has to be fictional. Uh, yeah. <laughs> since I'm not really a violent person, I would probably choose Gumby just because you're probably not going to hurt him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or SpongeBob. Th- that would be good. No, I wouldn't want to hurt SpongeBob. He's too dumb and innocent. Well, it probably wouldn't know? hurt him. He's a sponge. I'm trying to think of like a character that I really don't like. You know and... who I would? Who? That douche uncle from uh, The Lion King. Uh, Scar? Yeah. I'd hit him with a stick. Or Ursula. I just watched Little Mermaid tonight. Like, Ursula. She can die. Yeah. Well, there her you go. Her her tentacles. There you go. That's All right. Answer. So, any of the Disney bad, bad guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is the last one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and it's, it's not funny. It's just, it's just, it's more of a math question. And oh, shoot. <laughs> how long do you think it would take you to drink all the water in an above-ground pool? <laughs> above-ground pool. Oh, snap. Well, I drink. How many gallons do those things hold? Because I drink. I don't Let's say they're four feet 24. deep and maybe, what, 12, 14 feet around? Sure. That's a lot of water, dude. Yeah, but do you know how much water is in a, in a cubic foot of a pool? <laughs> I would say it would take me. Well, first of all, this is assuming that I would want to. It's like drink- it's the last water source on Earth. We're we're back in the zombie apocalypse. It's it's pure because you know somebody peed in it at some point. All right, all right. Well, let's just say you just use it to collect rainwater, or whatever. Oh, and okay. It's, it's and okay. it's a zo- and it's not raining anymore, and boom. And it's all clean, and I can drink <laughs> yeah. it. It's gonna Here, okay. Or you can purify whatever. But how long do you think <laughs> right. it would take you? You got a cup and there's a pool. Have at it. How long do you think that water oh can last you? I'd say a really long time. I'd say like, at least a year, I think. I was going to say six months, but yeah, like, That's yeah. It's a lot of water, dude. It is. And eventually it's going to get slimy, though. But we're pretending none of that happens, yeah, right? Just, yeah, normal okay. <laughs> physics doesn't and germs don't happen. Okay, okay. We're just that much yeah. water. How long would it take you? Gosh. Um. Uh, yeah, I would... I would have to Google search this, but I'm going to guess I, between six months, nine months, and a year, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to say about a year because that's a lot of damn water. We're going to have to do this math after we get yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. We definitely got to figure out how much water, how many gallons. If I, and are you being rationed? Because I'll drink less water if I'm being rationed. I think if you got a year to drink the water or they're they're going to beat you to death with Rubik's Cubes. <laughs> I would make sure I have it drink, drink, drunk, yeah. drinking. I'm thinking like 10,000 gallons, man. So divide right. that over a day, you know. And like, you're drinking, oh, what, like half a gallon a day. That's 20,000 gallons or 20,000 uh, days. That's a long ass that's time. That's years, dude. Yeah, we're good. Freaking, you got your tomahawk. I got my sitting in front of a TV. We got the water. <laughs> we got Rubik's cubes to keep us occupied. We got like, firewood ready to go. Yeah. Yes, we got battleship. Like, I I don't know what else we would need. You know, not much. <laughs> not much at all. Just a food source, but I mean, hey, we yeah. got a horse somewhere, right? Because I'm going to die on a horse. We're going to eat. We got that food. Thing. Boom. We're we're gonna live forever. You by know? the way, this That's zombie nice. apocalypse got nothing on us. <laughs> we always get into like the dumbest conversations. The monkey thing from from the the captain's quarters, yeah, just made me laugh from last week. So that was episode twenty. <laughs> if anybody's yeah. listening, yeah, that was. Uh, didn't you say something about the mermaid in bed with? <laughs> no, that was you. Oh, I, I said I, that. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, no, I, yeah. I said that he would have a, a hammock. Straight yeah. up Gilligan style. Oh, that's right. You know? Yeah. 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 Th- and that line just made me laugh. So stupid. <laughs> that's how vain I am. I'm laughing at my own stuff. Hey, um, you can't help if you're funny. That's just life. So professionally, are we, gonna... you, uh, are we doing anything good? Are you doing anything special? What? Like professionally, are you um, starting any programs with kids or? Oh, I got to. Uh... Traveling or doing anything? 
we're getting close to the end of the school year because March, April, part of May, and then we're done. We're revamping, improving. We always try to improve, you know, every year. Oh, I did go to uh, some second grade classes uh, up in the city. And, um, well, it's not really the city. It's like the southern part of St. Louis County. Anyway, uh, so I got to talk to them about, you know, what's good for your teeth, what's bad for your teeth. And, oh, the, <laughs> it was funny because one of the kids, and we were talking about germs and sugar bugs and, you know, that sort of thing. Sure. And then his question was, where do germs come from? And I was mm. like, I looked at his teacher and I was like, well, I go, so some questions I might not have the answer to. I think he's talking about germs in general. Well, Right, right. Where do they come from? And I'm like, from God? I mean, and then I got kicked out of the school. So, no. <laughs> but, you yeah, know. that's so. a good question. That, that kid's thinking. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. I dodged it. Be like, oh, that's philosophy. Not my not my yeah. place. Yeah, we're not here uh, for that. And then, right, Kid yeah. We're, we're here for teeth. You know? <laughs> but, yeah, it was a Stop good time, though. Stop asking so many questions. Well, I, I don't want to um, drag this out. And, uh, but this is, this has been fun. These stupid questions. I don't know. Was that fun? Was that fun for you at all? Yeah. 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 I like that. I like yeah. it. I like answering I th- I th- random questions. I'm all about just ran- random questions. Yeah. Like, like, we, like my son's friends. <laughs> yeah. I go, Hey guys, would you rather, and this is the one I, I do to like 13 year old boys. Right. And then I, and I have them think about it. I may have told you this before I go, um, would you rather fight uh, one of those devil clowns, like from It? Mm. Yuck. Or yeah. uh, a full-grown chimp? And they're like, the chimp. I go, but the, chi- the chimp's got a machete. And they're like, oh, the shit. clown. <laughs> and they go, well, the clown's got a chainsaw. And I'm like, oh, my God, dude, this is getting like, worse. Stop it. <laughs> so, so they're trying to analyze who would you rather you know, fight. And, it, it, and they go... I'm going to try to outrun the chimp, dude. You know, <laughs> I don't know. It's so ridiculous. I think we should, uh, we should do a, would you rather with some of our guests that we have on. That would be fun. Yeah. That would be fun. So we got the speed round that we could do and then we can alternate, alternate with some, would you rathers. But <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for listening to this random nonsense. And I hope it lightened your day. Um, yeah. It, it it really it helps it helps me because my lo- my day was long <laughs> but we're just yeah. laughing and goofing off and uh just having fun yes and um sandy thank you it's for, all part of the show you know <laughs> that, that's what we do here yeah. at oif it's just <laughs> brain fuzz random it, acts yeah, of crazy it's just just <laughs> glitter and uh and candy it's just nothing nothing <laughs> substantial but um yeah all right, well, uh, I'm good. If you're good, I'm good. You know, episode, episode twenty one. We're gonna have you to know, do something spectacular for twenty five. We need to. We need to go live. I think for that one. Yeah, we can do that. Heck yeah, that'd Listen, be fun. We say it every week, but do you really think that people are flossing themselves? Because I don't know. Well, I mean, if they're dental hygienists, then probably. Like, we yeah, probably don't even have to probably. tell them to. But everybody else, though. No, so they need to be reminded every yeah. every week. All right. At least so once. You guys week. heard it. <laughs> Go floss yourselves. Yeah. Go floss yourselves. <laughs> All right. Have a great night, man. Over and out. Be good.